Good evening and welcome to Utah. We are starting off today's vlog with an absolutely just banging location. Like seriously, this this is an incredible landscape. This is called the Little Grand Canyon and we're in probably about an hour and a half from Moab, Utah, about north northwest of Moab, Utah. And I uh, just drove out here today from Colorado and I think this is the first landscape photography video I've done from outside of Colorado, which is pretty cool. The weather's beautiful out here. It's starting to get cold up in Colorado, and the fall foliage is done up there, and I decided, a friend of mine called me yesterday and asked me if I wanted to go to Utah for a few days, and I was like, yeah, of course I want to go to Utah for a few days, take some photos, and just do some adventuring. So that's what I'm doing. This is a very impromptu Utah road trip that I'll be out here for about three days, so hopefully I'll get a couple videos out from this trip. But today, we're going to start out with this amazingly beautiful location, and hopefully I can take some photos that will do it justice and kind of show you guys what this place is about, because, wow, this is amazing. And I absolutely love Utah. It's such an uh, incredible, beautiful state, just loaded with amazing natural scenery like this. So, yeah, incredible. I'm going to stop rambling and just get on to, to the video and hopefully taking some photos and sharing those with you guys. <laughs> Been exploring along this ridge line, it's not ridge line, it's kind of like the edge of the rim here of this canyon. Just looking for some spots that I want to shoot, what I think might be good compositions, which I found like multiple that I would tr I'm going to try and shoot this evening right around sunset. Uh, honestly, this is like one of those locations you kind of feel like you can't really take a bad photo here, like <laughs> which I like locations like that where I feel like I can't take a bad photo, it's just like the landscape is so just spectacular i mean it's it's unreal this is what i love about about utah is that you know i've been shooting up in the mountains in colorado for the past four or five months but now coming out here to utah for a few days i'm just like the landscapes here are just so big and it's just massive canyons and monuments and stuff and it's honestly just it's mind-blowing the scale of everything out here so yeah i'm excited to be here but you know, just trying to find find a good spot, and I don't think I can really go wrong with anywhere at this point. So that's kind of how I'm feeling about that at the moment. It's just a insanely beautiful location. Seriously though, if you love nature and landscapes, and you haven't been in the southwestern United States like Utah, Arizona, um, you're really missing out because the landscapes out here are just unreal. I haven't been out here in a year. So the end of last year, I came out to Utah for like a week, and every time I come back here, it just it really blows my mind. The landscapes are just spectacular, and there's just so much to see. It's really incredible. The red sandstone everywhere with like rivers and stuff. You can see there's like a river down there cutting through this canyon. It's just it's unreal. It's really just some of the most beautiful landscapes I've ever seen in my life out here. Well, that was an utterly fantastic, spectacular sunset. It was beautiful sandstone canyon here. The whole sky just turned all these nice, like, pastel pinks and purples. It was just, wow, just amazing. These high altitude clouds really kind of helped along with uh, just uh, bringing those color, those pastel colors out. So amazing. Wow. Honestly, more, better than I expected this evening to be. I didn't think that uh, we were going to get such a nice sunset, but... I'm just trying to take it all in because it's just so gorgeous. Anyway, <laughs> tomorrow we're going to be, I believe, heading to Goblin Valley State Park. So that's the plan for tomorrow. Absolutely gorgeous sunset, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning. We decided to get up for a quick sunrise and at least check out this area during sunrise because, you know, obviously the sun is rising up off the side of the sky. <laughs> which was kind of cool. I would say the sunrise wasn't as good as sunset as far as, like, colors and the clouds and stuff, but it was still still pretty pretty nice, but, you know, short-lived, that's for sure. Anyway, we're going to head to Goblin Valley State Park uh, this morning, which I believe is probably only, like, an hour from here. <laughs> Well, 
welcome to Goblin Valley State Park in central Utah. This place is really interesting. As you can see all these like weird formations around me. Kind of been spending the early afternoon, late morning hours kind of exploring this whole area here, which are all these like voodoos and stuff as they call them. And they're weird, they look like mushrooms and all different crazy shapes. Ah, uh, yeah, just been exploring and trying to find a good spot to go for sunset. Maybe uh, get some photos of this whole valley here loaded with all these weird formations and all kinds of crazy stuff. But it's only like 1 p.m., so we have several hours until sunset yet. Now you can get a bit of a better view of the whole valley and all the weird formations and stuff back there. It's really like being in a maze walking through this stuff until you get above it on some of these hills. Really quite bizarre. Can't say I found any like photo spots that I'm really super keen on shooting, but it's still pretty cool. Okay, so it's nearly sunset now. We probably got 30, 45 minutes till sunset. And I was looking for this one location that I found earlier today. You know, earlier this afternoon when we first came out here, I can't find it because walking through all these like formations is honestly a bit like disorienting like I can't find the spot we were at earlier I think I'm in the same area but I haven't spotted the same spot so that's a bit weird I'm just struggling to find something that I feel like is gonna make for a good photograph so I'm just wandering around you know this last hour before sunset trying to find a spot that I think is gonna work good and then not, I haven't been able to find that other spot that I found earlier that I liked but I'm gonna keep looking I guess but uh yeah Sometimes even when you're in a really beautiful spot like this, really unique landscape of this, it's difficult to find somewhere to photograph. And I think it's just because all of these are really cool formations and stuff, it's very random. So it's like you kind of have to try and put together like the pieces of this puzzle to come up with like a good, you know, photograph. So it's kind of what I'm doing right now. I think I found a spot that I think is pretty cool that I'm going to try and use as my composition for this evening. This is actually something I don't do all that often. I normally, when I shoot at sunset, I'll normally shoot multiple different compositions right around sunset and I'll find them beforehand but honestly I think with this time just because of how difficult it is to like find spots here because it's just like a maze of like these weird sandstone formations I'm just gonna shoot this one spot for sunset so I'm just gonna wait here until the light's good and I'm just gonna shoot this one spot it does look kind of good um, if you look behind me here I've got that kind of rock there that's going to be kind of like the foreground. There's that pillar there, which will be more of like the main subject, the mid-ground. And then in the background, way back there, we got that big, like kind of like mesa back there. And that's going to be kind of the background of the shot. And hopefully that's going to be all right. Um, there's some people kind of standing in the way right now, which hopefully they won't be there in another half hour when I, when I take this photo. But I'm just going to hang out here until until sunset, and then I'll head back. But that's kind of my uh, game plan for this sunset. Uh kind of didn't know if I was going to even find something I was going to be happy with shooting, and I don't know how this is going to turn out, to be honest with you, but I'm going to give it a, give it a go and just, just see how it, how it turns out. So I lied about that being the only image over there I was going to take. I did end up stopping here right after sunset to try and catch a, just a photo of the whole valley here with the... Uh, Henry Mountain Range there in the background, which I thought was really cool. It's just glowing like purple and pink right now, and it just looks really great. So I, I took a few photos of that. Hopefully it turned out all right. I'm not really sure how the ones from the sunset actually turned out, but I just thought the colors in the sky over there looked really nice. I decided to take a shot of that before I head back to the car. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed some of the landscape photography out here in Utah. Yesterday we did a uh, Little Grand Canyon, it was called, and today was Goblin Valley State Park. First time I've been to either place, so it was really cool to check out some new locations. Even though I would say shooting here was a bit more challenging than I expected, but I think you just got to take your time to uh, find your subjects and stuff here because it is very random, and all these formations are scattered about. So, yeah, just you got to kind of explore and find the stuff that's worth shooting. So it would probably be worth coming back here multiple times and shooting in different conditions and stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.